Today we'll be showing you how to speed up your Steam downloads. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Steam is your portal into the world of PC gaming. Yes, the power balance may be shifting with Epic making its own inroads into the space and Google Stadia flaunting its cloud-based gaming chops, but for now, Steam remains king. If you want Steam running nice and fast, making sure that downloads go smoothly is a big part of that. Luckily, there is a fair amount of tricks you can do to speed up your Steam downloads. In today's video, we will show you the best ways to do it. Before moving on to the tips, it's important to isolate whether slow Steam download speeds are related to Steam itself or to your PC as a whole. If your web browsing and non-Steam downloads are slow too, then it's a broader problem, and you should look into solutions for speeding up your internet connection. To check this, run an internet speed test at speedtest.net or a similar site to see if the speed matches what's being offered by your internet service provider. For Windows users, the next obvious step to try when troubleshooting things beyond reboot your PC or turn your router on and off again is running apps in administrator mode. The reasons this would impact download speeds are often a mystery, but there have been many reports that running Steam in administrator mode on Windows 10 unthrottles download speeds. So who am I to argue? Simply go to your Steam folder, right click the Steam executable, then under the compatibility tab check the run this program as an administrator box and click OK. This will run Steam in administrator mode from now on. By default, Steam downloads are put on hold when you play Steam games. This is helpful if you're playing online games that require a lot of bandwidth. But if you're playing a single player game, what's the harm in letting downloads continue? You can do this one of two ways. Enable background downloads for all games, then disable them for specific games, or vice versa. Most of the games I play are single player, so I'm happy to have background downloads enabled, then disable them specifically for online games. To do this in Steam, click Steam at the top left hand corner, then Settings, Downloads, and tick the Allow Downloads During Gameplay box. Next, right click a game you don't want background downloads enabled for, click Properties, Updates and select Never Allow Background Downloads under the Background Downloads heading. And while you're in the Steam Downloads menu, Steam, Settings, Downloads. You can check to make sure that your download region corresponds to where you actually are in the world. On the same screen, under Download Restrictions, you can also increase your bandwidth limit or set it to no limit. This may impact other online activities like internet browsing speeds. The other option is to change your Wi-Fi settings. If you're using Steam via Wi-Fi, then there are a few things you can do to boost your speed. Depending on whether you're close to your router or several rooms away, you could switch between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequencies on your router, usually accessed by typing 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 in your browser address bar. 2.4 GHz tends to be not as fast but is better at covering longer distances, while 5 GHz is a shorter wave frequency that offers better speeds but less distance. Both frequencies have their own sets of Wi-Fi channels to connect to, which can greatly vary in speed depending on the channels they overlap with, local traffic, and etc. For more info, check out our website and read our guides on how to find the best Wi-Fi channel for your PC and how to find the best 5 GHz Wi-Fi channel for your PC as well. And that is maketechesier.com. So those were some of the more common ways to speed up your Steam downloads as well as your internet in general. If you have broader internet problems, you should probably check out our guide on how to troubleshoot a router, which may also fix any issues you have with Steam downloads as well. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.